Alright, these are the two fig trees that I have. And I'm going to transplant them for the first time into these 15 gallon smart pots. They're like four years old, maybe even five years old, and they've been in these like four gallon planters. Probably even three gallon. So, can't wait to see what happens. They've been, for the last two years, the leaves have been turning yellow and falling off. So, it's definitely time to replant these things. All right, this is my setup. I got my wheelbarrow, my shadow, peat moss, some black gold organic potting soil plus worm casting fertilizer and then a bucket of garden soil to cut it. My garden soil is rich and it's good to plant with. If you don't have good soil to plant with, double down on that and you should be all right. Okay, so take the peat moss and mix it with the garden soil 50-50 and it should look like this. Once it's smooth and well mixed and moist, if you need to pre-moisten your peat moss, do so. My garden soil's wet. But um, once it's nice and mixed, fill up your bag like that. Put a little divot in the center. Can't really see it, but it's there. Let's see if I pull it outside. Well, the sun's not working with me. But, as you can see, there's a little divot in the center, just like that. Alright, so there it is. It's more root-bound than I thought. So what I went and did is, I just kind of ripped up these roots at the bottom. Kind of pulled them out, give it somewhere to grow down into, just like that. You can cut it, I've seen people cut it, like right here. But that's a little, I don't want to damage it like that. I mean, if you just pull them out like that, should be all right, but I'm not an expert, but that's what I'm gonna do. It takes some of this black gold and just fill up that hole with a lot of that black gold. All right, so I spread the black gold everywhere where those roots are gonna touch. I'm just gonna place it in there and uh, see how this works. All right, okay. It's a good fit. I'm gonna fill it up with some black gold and then like some of that peat moss mix. I'll probably mix this black gold with some of that potting mix I made just to fertilize everything else nicely. And that's how it came out. It looks really nice. I'm gonna give it a nice watering. Got that in that 15 gallon smart pot. And if you can notice, what happened is this shoot here is actually an offshoot. What I'm gonna try to do this year is uh, I forget what the te technique's called, but you cover it in towels and a bottle, and the roots grow inside the bottle, and then you just snip it underneath the bottle, and then plant it right where all those roots grew. So I'm gonna try that on this, see how that comes out. And yeah, keep you guys updated. All right, this is the other one. Got it all set up. Gonna take this out. This one, oh boy, that one rebound as well. Flip it on the side, gently, and then I'm just going to do what I did to the other one, just rip these out. When I say rip, I mean gently pull them out. Get these nice and open. It's like a couple inches from the from the bottom. You can also cut it, like I said before, but I'm gonna do it this way. All right. So once you have those exposed like that, and it's dangling. Put it in there, and I'm just gonna cover it up with some more black gold. All right, those are the two finished pots. I put some uh, black mulch just to finish it off. It makes it look nice. And uh, just give it a nice watering. It's gonna, it's gonna drink up a lot. It's gonna need it. 
Uh, what I did was I put some fish fertilizer and some sea kelp in this water just to give it a little fertilizer boost to start it off for the season and help it out with this uh, moose planter. So that's it. That's my video. And uh, keep you guys updated.